You've got 10 minutes to build a blog in WordPress, but you don't know where to start, then this video is for you. My name's Paul C, this is WP Touch, the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. If this is your first time on the channel and you like what we do, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so 10 minutes and you wanna create a blog. Is it possible? Absolutely. And in this video, we're gonna do just that. So the first thing we need to do is set up our hosting and grab a domain name. For this, we're gonna be using SiteGround for three main reasons. First of all, they're quite cost effective. They're not gonna break the bank to get a blog up and running. Secondly, they have fantastic 24 seven support. So if you get stuck on anything or have a problem in the future, you've got support there that you can get access to straight away. And third, they have all the tools we need to get WordPress installed and up and running in double quick time. So let's just jump over to the SiteGround website right now and take a look at what offers they have and take a look at setting that hosting and grabbing the domain ready to start building our WordPress website. So picking your hosting with SiteGround is super easy. You've got a range of options, but what we're gonna go for is the WordPress managed hosting. Click on get started. Once we've done that, it'll go through and show us all the current pricing structures. Now, if you are just gonna create a simple blog to start off with, you can start off with the startup plan, and then if you need to, you can upgrade to the Grow Big or Go Geek at later on down the line. We're gonna click on Get Plan. Once we click on Get Plan, we have two simple options. Do we want to register a domain, or do we simply want to use one that we've already purchased somewhere else? For this example, we're gonna choose the option to register a domain. And then all you need to do is type in the domain that you're looking for and see if it's available. So if I click on proceed, first thing it's gonna do is go through and tell me if that's available. If it is, we can then move on and take the whole process of purchasing. So as you can see, it says it's currently not available. So I can go through now, pick an alternative or try again until I find something that's available for me. So I've tried a couple of different variations out and I found one now that's available to me. So I'm gonna click on proceed. That's then gonna take me over where I can put in all of my payment details. So I can pre-fill all that out. And once I've gone through the process of paying for everything and confirming, my account will be all set up and we're ready to go. So now that we've gone through and set up SiteGround, got our hosting in place, got our domain name in place, the next thing we need to do is set up WordPress. Thankfully, SiteGround make this incredibly simple. So we're gonna jump back over to the SiteGround dashboard and we're gonna go through the process of setting up WordPress. Setting up WordPress in SiteGround is super simple, but there's a couple of things we wanna do before we actually install it. First thing, we wanna make sure that we have an SSL certificate active on our account. And all that really means is that any data that's submitted from your site, whether you're doing that or someone sending information via your contact form, it's all being encrypted and it just gives an extra level of security. Again, one of the nice things, SiteGround gives you the opportunity to use these absolutely free. All you need to do is log into the dashboard of SiteGround. Once you've logged in, you'll see something similar to this. If we take a look at the top, we're gonna come over to the website section. We're gonna open that up, and in there you'll see any or all of the websites you currently have. Now currently you can see I've got one, I'm on the startup plan, the same as what I've recommended for you. If we take a look on the right hand side of that section, we've got site tools and WordPress kit. We're gonna hit site tools, and once we come into there, we've got some options on the left hand side that's part of our dashboard. All we need to do is come over to the security section, and from there we're gonna say SSL manager. And once we're inside that section, we can apply an SSL certificate to any domain that we have. So all you need to do is come into the select domain and choose the domain that you want to apply this to. So I'm gonna set that to this particular website. Then we say select the SSL. So I'm gonna click and we're gonna just say, let's encrypt. And then what I'm gonna do is click on get. Now that's gonna take a little bit of time to complete the process. Once that's finished, we can then move on. And there we go, that's now completed. So there's one more thing we need to do before we install WordPress. We're going to come over to HTTPS Enforce. We're going to click on that, and we're simply going to find our website, and all we're going to do is come over and check the option on the right-hand side. Once that's checked, that's now enabled, and all that means is that any files on our website that are not using that HTTPS, in other words, the secure connection, will be forced to do so. So the next thing we need to do, jump over to the WordPress option and click Install and Manage. From there, once that's loaded in, we can choose to install WordPress. We're going to keep it simple and just say WordPress. From there, we can just choose the domain. Again, if you're using this for the first time, you're only gonna have the one in there. Installation path, leave it as it is. And we're gonna change this to whatever language is suitable for you. So I'm choosing English UK, and I'm gonna take off the install WordPress starter. Then I next need to do is just choose a password, a username, and an email address. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that. 
Once that's done, all I need to do is click on install. That'll take a couple of seconds and then we'll find WordPress is all installed, ready for us to start working. And now all we need to do to log into our new shiny WordPress website is come down to the section below and click on the little arrow and that'll take us over then into the dashboard of WordPress. We're all logged in, ready to take a look at setting things up. So let's quickly do a little bit of housekeeping. First thing we're gonna do is come to settings and we're gonna come down to our permalinks and from there, we're gonna set post name. And this just means that we get a nice link that we can share with anybody that'll have the name of the post. It just becomes a lot easier to read. So we're gonna come down and save changes on there. And a quick bit of housekeeping, we're gonna come into posts and say all posts and delete everything that's inside here. So all we're gonna do is just choose move to bin and apply. And we do exactly the same then for our pages. And get rid of anything that's in there, move to bin, apply, and the same then for any comments. This just means we don't end up with any rubbish on our starting site. We just have a clean slate to work from. Okay, so now that's the first part done. We've got everything ready and now it's ready to choose the design. Well, there we go. WordPress is now set up, installed, and all ready to go. So let's jump over into the dashboard of WordPress, install a great looking theme, and start making this look a lot nicer. Now, speaking about themes, we're going to be using a free theme called Bloxy. Now, why are we going to use Bloxy? Well, a couple of reasons. One, it's a great looking blog straight out of the box. So it's going to look fantastic. If you don't want to do any tweak into it whatsoever, you've got a great starting point. However, if you do want to tweak it and make it a little bit more your own, then it's very easy to do with a ton of simple options, some of which I'll show you in this video. So let's just jump over into the dashboard of WordPress now, download that theme, set everything up and take a quick look at some of the customization options to make this a little bit more personalized. So from our dashboard, we're going to have the appearance section and into themes. We're going to click on add new and at the top, we're going to choose to search for Bloxy. Once we've found that, all we need to do is come over and say install. So we'll hit the activate button and that will now activate it and ask us to do a few things. First of all, it says download the Bloxy companion. So we're gonna to click to download that. Once that's downloaded, we can then go ahead and add that in. So we're gonna come into the plugin section and we're gonna say add new. And from there, we're just simply gonna come up to upload plugin. We're gonna grab the download, drop it over the choose file and say install now. That's gonna go through the process of installing it. And as you can see, we can just activate the plugin and that's everything all ready to go through. So now we've got a simple wizard that allows us to choose what we want to do. I'm going to skip it for this example. And once we've done that, we've now got a very simple, straightforward wizard. We can simply go through to a starter site. So let's do that. So we've got something to start off working with. So there's our example. So we're going to say we want to import all the data for there. And it's going to tell us what we need to do. I don't want WooCommerce, but we'll let everything else go in there. And then it's going to give us some other options. Uncheck that for this example. And we're going to say we want to install this. That's now going to download and install everything. So there we go. Everything is downloaded and set up. We've got two choices, customize or view site. When we click on customize, that'll take us over into the WordPress customizer and we can now go through and fine tune this to do whatever we want. So we've got a lot of options. We can adjust general so we can go through the size of the site and so on. But what I want to show you is just some basic things that we can change to make it a bit more unique. So first of all, the blog posts, you can see we have five different variations to start off with and choosing any of these again, will update in real time and show us exactly what we're going to get by making those changes. But I think for this example, we're going to come in and do something like this. We've got the option then to come into the cards and we can choose exactly what information is going to be displayed. So you can see at the moment, the read more button is not being displayed. If we wanted to use that, we can click to add it and we can adjust the styling and so on on there as well. Jump back out of there and we can say, let's click to go in and take a look at one of our blog posts itself. And from there, we can then choose exactly how this is laid out and what information we want from there as well. So we'll jump back out of this and we'll say single post. And now we can choose the styling for this. So you can see we can set this up so there's no sidebars in place. We can set it to be boxed if we want to. We can come through the design side of things and we can change various different things inside there. So that's just a really simple overview of some of the things you can do to change the look. And there are tons of options inside this Bloxy theme. So I would highly recommend you jump in there, make some changes, have a play around, see what it all does. And only when you're ready, hit that publish button to save those changes. So the last stage that we have is to go in and take a look at how we add our own content into our newly created blog.
Now there are a couple of ways you can do this. You could use Elementor if you wanted to get a little bit more creative, or if you want to keep it simple and straightforward, you can simply use the built-in Gutenberg editor. I'm going to show you Gutenberg in this example just to show you how you can easily get in and start creating blog content and then getting your information out to the world so they can see exactly what you have to say. When you've finished editing the blog and you're happy with the way it looks, the next thing you're going to want to do is come in and actually add some content of your own. So all we need to do is one of two things. First things first, we're going to add a category in, and that just allows us to organize the way things are laid out. And we can just add something new in. So we can just say personal, for example, and say add new category. That's added in. So we've now added in a way of organizing our posts. So we're just simply going to come into add new, and from there, we can now start adding in our content. So we're just going to say my Saturday. We'll drop in then underneath some text. We'll simply click. I will say click the plus and we'll just say we want to drop in a paragraph and from there I'll just paste in my basic text. If we want to add an image in we can simply come in add another block drop an image inside there and we'll say we'll upload an image. We'll click on open that up. We've pretty much created our simple content. Come back up to our document and what we can do inside here is choose our category and we're going to set that under the new category we just created which is personal. We can apply a featured image and we'll just click on set featured image and from there we'll just use our media library and we'll grab an image from there. And we can set any other parameters we want inside here but as the basics we've done everything we need there. So we'll click on publish and we'll click on publish to confirm that. And we're now pretty much done so we can say let's view our new post. And that'll take us over and you can see this is now inside our nicely designed blog layout. Well, there we go. We've now created our blog in WordPress in 10 minutes or less. This is pretty painless and hopefully what's demonstrated is it's very, very simple, doesn't need to cost the earth and you can have a great looking blog set up in basically minutes. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's perfectly fine. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on anything I've covered in this video, or any questions or you'd like to see me cover in future videos, drop those in the comment section below. I'd love to get a conversation started and get any kind of feedback you have to give me. Well, if you use any of the affiliate links in the description below, it costs you no more money, but you do help support the channel and help me create more great content like this moving forward. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.